So, 007 can only be a man, apparently. This was from the, the writers of the books, or was it the directors of the film, or something like that? I've just seen it in the news. Yeah, one of... been, what, a week ago? Yeah, it was like one of the creators has just... basically said that 007 could never be a woman. Yeah. However, they she did say, like... We are open to doing like a spin-off where it's maybe not 007, but it might be 008 mm. or 009 or Secret Agent 9 or something well, like I, that that could be a woman, my but first, 007 can't my be. My first initial thoughts is, look at, say, Doctor Who. Mm-hmm. I know it's a very different story, <laughs> but... A bit different. Daleks like, attacking 007 didn't quite Would happen. you ever do a spin-off of the Doctor's assistant? No, because it'd be really no. boring. So why would you do a spin-off of 007? Because it would still be a secret agent. So it, it's not a spin-off, yeah, but... is it? It's not like it's 00... It's not like it's a Bond girl's film. Because a Bond girl is essentially there to be James Bond's love interest and probably have some connection to the villain. Yeah. Whereas a spin-off being like, I don't know, Agent 9, let's call her. Agent 9 is within the Secret Service. Right is like, she is 007, but she's female, and she does other missions. It would be the same, but she would not be 007. Okay, so in that sense then, for argument's sake, mm-hmm. you've got the Doctor, who's like full Martian, whatever he is, I don't know. Yeah. If you had someone who was like and half that's... Martian, half human, and they had their own series, yeah. that would be shit. <laughs> okay, I don't think the Doctor Who metaphor yeah, is the best maybe one not, to go down. But it's the only one I can think of at the moment. Okay, so. let's think like if you did Prison Break, but it was a female escaping a female prison, I think that would still work. Uh, I mean... Could, could still work. If it was done for the first time, yes, but... The, the, I think the element of prison break is the fact that you don't know what's gonna, how he gets out, yeah, which yeah. is why it's good. Yeah. If you then watch it again, it's all right. But then du- but 007, still... they've managed to get what? How many films? Are 15, more than that. How but many then, films have they done? Fucking loads. Yeah. So for them to do would another say, one. I would say, obviously, you've got different missions and stuff and different enemies, but then I suppose with prison break, <laughs> they just have different prisons. Different so. prison, different way of getting yeah. out. So, and, you yeah, know, it's but, a male doctor that they use to get out yeah, instead yeah, of a female yeah. one. Yeah. But like, I, I think that they could do a spin-off to 007, which is Agent 9 or whatever it might be. And I think it would be decent. But then... I like hold, the idea of it, I just don't think it would. But then, I think about Ocean's 11. And didn't they do a female version? Ocean's 8. Something. Or something like that. And it just it didn't really click. Yeah. Do you know I, what I mean? To be honest, Ocean's 11 was sick. Yeah. Ocean's 12 I think was pretty good Ocean's 13 didn't it was kind of like yeah alright I think I here's the I got bored off 12 yeah you've got all the water out let's just stop yeah um, yeah I, d- I don't I just think I don't know I, I just feel for me not that it's you know it's, it's absolutely n- nothing to do with um, you know capability or anything like that I just no. don't think and Right, okay. The whole point of James Bond, right, is the fact that he's a he's a super agent, he kills a load of people. Seduces right, okay. lots women of women. could do that, fine. They yeah. Could, like, yeah, hundred percent. James Bond obviously gets the girl, gets the information, blah blah blah. If a woman was to like hit on a man, get information, would you not think, right, okay, people's general idea would but be like, they're... right, she's a slag. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> But there is people. There is people in TV series and films that do that. So I, the, as soon as you said that, I thought I went straight to. I've forgotten the name of the woman in the TV series, but I went straight to Suits, and um, there was a female character, blonde hair, in Suits, who does go around, seduces blokes, gets information. That is what she does. Yeah. I mean, even Donna in Suits, but, to an extent, okay. does that. But and it works, and she's not my, a slug. I think, I think my my point is more: James Bond is likely to sleep with the women, whereas yeah. if you were to have a super agent that went round and slept with loads of different blokes, the the yeah. the, the, the actual True. third person view on that is going to be a lot different. 
not get in there, Bond. Nicely yeah, done. it would be like. And oh, I think actually, a, blo- a yeah. bloke walking out of the water in his speedo is going to be like, fun. It's completely normal for yeah. both genders to sort of do whatever they want. And what, you're, but pre- like, you're coming across very sexist right now. Go on, keep digging. Oh no, how? Because if a woman wants to do, I that, want my bond. My but... bond's got to be a man, and he's got to shag women. I'm just saying. I'm just saying that's what you can't his, be gay. Either. That's what his whole character's <laughs> about, though, isn't it? It is. It is the presence I just of it. I just don't think it'll work. And the fact that regardless of which actor it is, involved, I don't think it'll work. Regardless of which actor it is, they're always called James Bond. And you couldn't have Janine Bond coming in. I mean, that would just be weird. It had I mean, to, to be a spin-off. And if it on, was, I think I'd enjoy it. On the on the subject of not being a man, yeah. flip it the other way. There's obviously been a lot of talk about Idris Elba being potentially James Bond. Yeah. And the fact I'm, he's black, which yeah. makes no sense, but go on. No, that's so my point my question was gonna be, obviously that's a change from your stereotypical James Bond. Bond. You know, it's basically white male. I want to make so, this clear. To, I so, said it makes no sense. That is because it makes no sense for him not to be allowed to be it. Not yeah, that this is, Idris yeah. Elba shouldn't be it because yeah. he's black. I want so, to make that very clear because I realised I just heard that again in my head. It's, yeah, it's a, it's a bit like, okay, so you can't be a woman. Well, you can, but I, I generally just don't think it'll work yeah. as well. No, it's fine. But you can Sexist. be a different colour or a different race. Yeah, of course you can. But it's just, ve- it's like... It it's the character make, it shouldn't it? make any difference but yet one does and one doesn't it is the character that is James Bond and because he is a certain character with a certain description I think he could be black Idris Elba would do a great job there's other black actors out there that would do a great job as well the guy that is in Star Wars uh, Joe, John Benega yeah I think in or Boyega whatever. yeah I think in 10-20 years time I could see him doing Bond yeah. And I can see him doing it very well. Maybe not even that long. I mean, to be fair. I would love to see Will Smith. <laughs> because I mean, I, I'm not a massive Bond fan, but I'd just mean, like to see Will Smith in that role would be quite yes, funny. But, but I think we're yeah, maybe past that I, time. Yeah, I think Will Smith's probably not that. F- Again, Idris Elba is sort of that kind of serious, yeah. smooth talking, mm-hmm. that, and that's basically Bond. Bond, yeah. You could look at Idris Elba and go, right, okay, yeah, 500 women in a queue. <laughs> that's, ba- that's basically <laughs> what James up. Bond is, essentially. Yeah, yeah.